So guys, I forgot to make an intro to this video, but that's because I was doing a live stream with you guys, whoever was watching. Thank you so much for joining that. But yeah, I forgot to make an intro to this video, but that's good because what am I going to say? Oh, we're going to go find something. Well, now I know and you guys are not going to want to miss this episode. I'm not joking. This dive that we just did, I just got out of the water. It's the most... I've never seen this many Ludi break in one dive in my life. And I filmed, I just counted them, spoiler alert, six new species of Ludi break today on this dive. Me and Finn were just like, I mean, everywhere we looked, me, Finn, Alex, there's just a new species, a new a Ludi here. At one point, I, I called Finn over, I said, look, one, two, three, four, and the other four separate different species. So, this video you're gonna watch you're gonna want to watch to the very end to see our reaction after we get out of the water but wow this was an insane night I love it so stay tuned for this one hmm? critter hunter I know that I just got done saying that we saw a whole lot of nudie brink on this dive, but I didn't know that I was gonna be seeing so many before the dive, so of course, at the beginning, I was filming whatever I saw. But I really don't need an excuse to film a little flamboyant cuttlefish. On this dive site at Malatapai, either day or night, I actually see a ton of flamboyant cuttlefish lately. And this was the tiniest one I've seen in a long time. It's probably the size of a half dollar and really, really cute. Not scared of the camera at all. Of course, I had to take the time to film him, although we're always cautious at the beginning, not knowing if I'm going to find enough to film for an episode. But I was definitely wrong tonight. In fact, I filmed too much. And here's the first looty of the night. This guy was an orange dragon looking looty. I can't tell you the exact species and you probably don't care, but what you should know is this is a new species for the Project Ludi Break and one I haven't filmed before. This guy's an awesome addition and of course you might kind of recognize this one because I filmed a lot that looks sort of similar and I'm sure they're probably related. But this bright orange with translucent white body is definitely a different species that I don't have in the database. This guy was a cool one. And just so you know, sometimes on a night dive like this, the plankton get really bad. They're attracted by our lights. And you can see here that whatever I film is getting attacked by tons of plankton. And then the next looty I ran into was this giant plural branch, a huge flatworm thing that, uh, it's not a first. You've seen it on this channel quite a few times actually. And if I would have known I was going to film so many species and my camera was going to die, I probably wouldn't have filmed this one, even though it's so beautiful. But, you know, I'm glad I did. It is an awesome species. And this one right here wasn't the only one of the night. When I speed things up, you can see that it moves quite a bit, but slowly. I'm glad I filmed it, but let's get on to something that I haven't seen before. Like this dude. This is a really strange one that I've never even seen. I didn't even know it existed. And odds are you probably never seen it either. This is an awesome little furry looking looty break. Actually, I think it's a flatworm, if I'm to be technical. And you can also see how much plankton and stuff is bothering it and making it hard to film. But I guess that's the nature of filming at night. <laughs> nature, literally. But yeah, check this guy out. It is definitely, it. you know what? This looks like a rug. And then I found another one nearby. And then it was crawling on this hard coral. When all of a sudden the current took it and he just started floating away. Now this is some kind of sea slug, I promise. And it's a new one for Project Lady Break, but Man, it is it really unphotogenic. It looks like a gobstopper or some weird yellow, gross jelly candy. I don't know, but I'm glad I found it. Glad I got to film it for the first time, but man, is he weird. 
In fact, I would go as far to say this is probably the least photogenic little nudie break or sea slug that I've ever seen. Can't really see details, all you see is a blob. In fact, I'm gonna name this one Bloop. Little Bloop, after he landed, after sailing through the current, he just kinda got himself together and started slithering around some more. I got to film a little bit, but I mean, Finn and our guide Alex was just banging on our tanks, signaling to come look at this, come look at this. So I didn't spend too much time with this ugly little bloop, but I'm glad I got to see it anyway. The next guy was the opposite of ugly and he was huge. This one is about uh, probably the size of my hand with my finger stretched all the way out and just enormous. You can see his butt feathers there in the back, and you can even see the rhinophores right there, but they're sucked all the way into his body. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Honestly, I think the plankton were hitting him on the rhinophores, and he's just kind of sucked them in to hide them. And yeah, look at that skin. It kind of reminds me of a stingray. It looks all rough and weird. It's pretty, pretty weird. It's not, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's just... It's definitely one I've never seen or even knew existed. It's got the body of a flatworm, but it's got naked gills like a nudibranch, and of course the rhinophores. Speaking of flatworms, check this guy out. This guy slithered up, and no, it's not the same one that I filmed at the beginning of the dive. This is another polybranch, and even though he was big, he still wasn't as big as the other one. And I guess he just wanted to see who's the new neighbor in town. So the one on the left is the one I've never seen before, but seeing them together is awesome. <laughs> the next thing I saw was this strange little knee. All right, this is a nudie break. I know it looks like a tiny teddy bear, but you see those two rhinophores in front? They're sucked in, but they're there. And then if you look closely earlier, you can see little butt feathers. And although they're sucked in, this is a new species for sure. And here's the plankton if I aim my camera upwards instead of down. It's just everywhere. There's stuff flying around and it's hard to film. Now this is a whole different one. It's not the same as the other two. And it's huge. The biggest one I've ever seen. I was going to ignore it, but you know what? Those rhinophores are the biggest I've ever seen. And it just makes me think that I wonder if rhinophores never stop growing. And since this was the biggest one I'd ever seen, he just had the biggest rhinophores. Next to that was another new species. I don't know what number this is, but another one that I've never seen before. Another not great photogenically, but still different than the other yellow one. Had a lot of little bumps and stuff. Now this doesn't count as a new species. You guys have seen this on my Instagram and in other episodes. I filmed this one about four or five different times in the same color, but I'm not going to pass it up. I mean, look how cool it looks. I just love how they get around. Now this guy, I don't know if he was looking for a hiding spot, trying to escape from the little plankton that were nipping him everywhere. You know, the little tiny shrimp and whatever the hell is in plankton. Or maybe he was hunting. I have no idea what these guys eat. But while I was following that flatworm around, I found yet another new nudie break. And when I say new, I'm not saying this is new to the world, new to science. I'm saying that this is new to me. I've never filmed it before, I've never seen it before. And of course, we're writing a book about nudie break and sea slugs and flatworms of the Negros coast. And this guy will make an appearance now since we finally found it. I think we're up to 140 species, and this guy makes a great addition. I don't know what it is, I'm glad that I got to see new species today, but well, this one and two of the other yellow ones are not very photogenic. They're not that great looking little blobs, you know, including the yellow bloop. But hey, thank you guys anyway so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Holy macaroni and cheese. <sighs> That's the most looties I've ever seen on a single dive. <laughs> First
for sure I filmed five new species and I saw three more that I couldn't film. I had trouble filming because there were so many critters uh, oh. flying around so that was the only problem but yeah right, there was a bunch of, at least three new species I never filmed from this time. Yeah for me five and I saw two more that just went down like this one big crazy looking one went into a rock and I was like no and I flipped over another rock and another one there's another one so I filmed that one I, I mean also let's not forget beginning of the dive we skipped a couple of neuter branks yeah. that we filmed a few I, days I probably ago. saw six that I skipped that are common and then uh, we found three flamboyant cuttlefishes <laughs> you saw three yeah two well the first one was the small one you found and then I found two more I just saw the one but it was tiny that was awesome and uh, and then we saw the biggest cuttlefish ever oh yeah the <laughs> we're forgetting stuff because it Alex found more total octopus apparently yeah. yeah I found an octopus at the very end like this big and yellow and it went into the rock I was like no it went just I there's a solid solid rock with holes in it and it was for sure not a cuttlefish it was a octopus that's, oh, that's awesome. crazy insane yeah. 